Good night, and y'all. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. When my daughter was a little girl, I used to make up these stories to tell her at bedtime um, about her and our dog going on all of these huge adventures. And uh, so I wrote one of them down and I wanted to read one of them on video. So this is my daughter and our dog Odie, who is who are the uh, the subjects of the story. Here's another picture of them. And this is about the age that she was when I started making up these stories and she used to love to hear them. And unfortunately, this is the only one that I really can remember because this is the very first one that I ever told her. But uh, I wanna share the story with y'all today and also with Yara, of course. Um, so, the name of the story is The Adventures of Detective Yarrow and King Odie, The Case of the Missing Sock. Our story today begins in the same way all the best stories begin. In a magical kingdom in a faraway land lived a very tall and handsome brown dog named King Odie, who ruled over his animal kingdom in peace and tranquility. King Odie was a very happy and content king because he had an amazing best friend. His very best friend was a beautiful fairy princess with long yellow hair and big gorgeous eyes named Yarrow. This fairy princess just so happened to be the kingdom's one and only detective, which is a very good thing because on this day in particular, the kingdom was in need of its very best detective. Which also happened to be its one and only detective, Detective Yarrow. And on this day in particular, King Odie and Detective Yarrow had one of their biggest adventures yet. Allow me to tell you their story. In order to understand this story, you should be aware that King Odie cherished most of all his possessions, his beloved socks. He had all kinds of socks, socks with stripes, socks with stars, socks with black cats and Halloween witches hats, socks with snowmen and socks with hearts. He had all kinds of socks and was proud of them all. Above all things, King Odie was a generous king and he loved to loan his socks to his friends and see the happiness on their faces as they wore them around the kingdom. Well, one morning, King Odie was preparing for his day, and as he was getting dressed, he realized his most favorite pair of socks was missing one sock. He couldn't believe it. He looked all over his room for his precious sock, under his bed, under the dresser, behind the wardrobe and on the nightstand, inside the sheets even, but to no avail. His sock was nowhere to be found. So King Odie did the only thing he could do. He picked up his phone and he dialed his very best friend. Detective Yarrow, King Odie exclaimed, I'm missing one of my most favorite socks. You must come quickly. Detective Yarrow, being the amazing friend that she is, cried, I'm on my way. And she rushed all the way from the edge of the kingdom up to the large castle on top of the hill and straight into King Odie's room. King Odie, I have arrived, panted Detective Yarrow. Which sock is it? Is it the stripy socks? No, sighed King Odie. Is it the socks with the stars on them? No, sighed King Odie more sadly. The rainbow socks? No, King Odie sighed again more sadly still. It's the one with the bunnies on them. No, Yarrow relented. Those are your most favorite. Do not fear King Odie, for I am a very good detective as you know and we will undoubtedly find your sock. King Odie smiled knowingly at Detective Yarrow. You are the best detective in this kingdom, Yarrow, and most surely the best in the world. I have no doubt that you will find my sock, dear friend. First things first, declared the detective staunchly. When did you last see this sock? Detective, the last I saw this sock was right here in this sock drawer. As you know, I keep them accounted for and logged in this notebook. When my socks are borrowed and returned, I just put a check, a, check, a check by their name to show they've been returned. Mrs. Fox borrowed these last week to wear to a fancy dress party, but she returned them yesterday. You can see here is a check next to her name. Oh yes, 
Grasshopper's fancy dress party. What a lovely evening that was. I do recall Mrs. Fox looking quite charming in those bunny socks. Let's begin with her. And with the detective's words, she and King Odie sauntered down the hill to Mrs. Fox's den. Oh my, said Mrs. Fox when she heard of King Odie's missing sock. I feel terrible to have been the last to borrow them, and now here they are missing. I last recall returning them to the housekeeper, Henrietta Hippo, and putting a check next to my name so you would know I'd return them, dear Odie. I'm unsure what happened to them after this. Mrs. Fox, please don't feel bad, our wise King Odie said. You are responsible and always do your best. If my sock is missing, then I'm sure it was just an accident and nothing to do with you. We only need to find it. Please do not fret. Mrs. Fox smiled with these words and offered tea and cookie to the king and his dear detective friend. The three friends whiled away the morning sharing stories and creating new memories in the glorious spring sunshine. Upon leaving Mrs. Fox's house, Detective Yarrow said to the king, we must now go to Henrietta Hippo's house. I know today is her day off and it's Harry Hippo's fourth birthday today. We can pop in quickly and wish him a happy birthday while we inquire about the socks. King Odie nodded approvingly at this idea. Upon arrival to the home of the hippos, Detective Yarrow and King Odie find themselves attendees at a birthday party. They were welcomed with hugs from Henrietta and Harry and quickly joined in with the celebratory activities. They ran in a three-legged race, participated in a cake eating competition, and had their faces painted by Wilbur Wolf, the kingdom's local artist. It was a joyous afternoon for everyone. Eventually, once the festivities ended, Henrietta, Yarrow, and the wise old king settled down to discuss the sock. Why, let me think, said Henrietta. Mrs. Fox did come to return the socks. I put them in my apron as I wasn't able to return them return them so quickly to their resting place because, but I'm positive I returned them to the drawer in the dresser. One must have fallen out and gone unnoticed while I was taking care of my duties around the castle. Well then exclaimed Yarrow, it must be at the castle. And off the detective and her dutiful friend went, quite enjoying the day's adventures. Returning to the castle, Detective Yarrow and King Odie continued on the hunt for the sock. They asked everyone employed at the castle if they knew where this sock could be, but no one seemed to recollect seeing it. Odie, my old friend, I fear I may have let you down. The detective cried after hours of searching. Odie patted her back reassuringly and said, worry not, Yarrow, the day is not yet done. Yarrow glanced desperately around the living room of the castle when she noticed a teeny tiny hole in the far wall. Then she inquisitively asked the king, King Odie, throughout the day's inquiries, did you happen upon Mary Mouse and ask her about the sock? For I did not. Why no, detective, I did not, replied the king. Yarrow cautiously approached the mouse hole and got down onto all fours, peering inside. Mrs. Mouse, Yarrow asked, how are you? Oh, I've been so busy with a new baby, Mrs. Mouse said exhaustingly, but finally she's asleep. Yarrow peered to the very back of Mary Mouse's little room and saw nuzzled into the missing bunny sock, the newest addition to the kingdom. Oh, Yarrow said, Mrs. Mouse, the baby is adorable and I see you found the best accommodations for her. Yes, said Mrs. Mouse, and just in time too. It was anonymously gifted to me at my doorstep as there was no name attached. Well, congratulations, Mary. We are so happy for you, said the detective. Yarrow stood up and looked at her old friend and both giggled in delight at discovering the sock and its whereabouts. Well, whispered the king, I couldn't think of a better use for such a special sock. And with this, they walked away and headed toward their next big adventure. The end. <laughs>